going to make some butterscotch brownie bars. I love these. My mother used to call them blonde brownies. Some people call them Congo bars. This is a pretty good recipe. I'm going to use a jelly roll pan, which um, I hope you all have. I love mine. It's, it's 10 by 15 with a one inch uh, side. And I greased it with uh, shortening and I floured it. In my mixer bowl, I'm putting in two sticks or one cup of softened butter. two cups of light brown sugar. You can use dark brown if you want for this recipe. It doesn't matter as much, but I like the light brown. Now I'm going to let that cream up. I'm going to add in approximately a teaspoon of vanilla, pure vanilla extract, eyeballing it. And I have two eggs. I've got some milk. I have two and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and just a pinch of baking soda in here, and I just mixed it all together. Okay, now our eggs, one at a time. This is what I like to do when I'm adding my eggs. After I've added them, they've somewhat blended. Then I want to get the sides scraped down. I want those eggs to get into all of the mixture, not just the bottom part of the mixture. And you can see this pieces of butter here that have not gotten incorporated into the mix. Very simple recipe. Oven is heating it. 150 degrees. I really want this to cream well. Okay. Now I'm going to add half of my flour mixture. And blend that in. And now four tablespoons of milk. I also have one cup of chopped pecans and one pound, 16 ounces, of chocolate bits that I'm going to add in at the end. Again, the flour is up on the sides, so I'm going to scrape it down. And at this point, I'm going to add the rest of the flour. Now you know why I take it off. <laughs> Normally I could spoon it in, but this goes so much faster. careful because I don't want this to go flying all over the kitchen. Start it off slow. Give it a tap. Get all the flour off the sides. It's a very easy recipe and it makes a lot of bars. Put in the cans and then slowly add the one pound of chocolate. That's it. Now, scrape it all off. Now into the pan.
just putting big plops here and there. Just make it easy to spread out later. And this is now going to bake for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. And then we cool it in the pan, cut them into bars. You can cut them into squares if you want. These, these are such a simple bar, but they're so tasty with the brown sugar and the chocolate bits. And the cans don't hurt either. This jelly roll pan is smaller than a cookie sheet. I suppose you could do this recipe in a cookie sheet, but they'd be much thinner and I don't think they'd be as good. So invest in a jelly roll pan. You will use it a lot. All right, in the oven, 20, 25 minutes. Here are our butterscotch brownie bars. They're very hot out of the oven. There's no way we can cut them right now. You need to leave them to room temperature and let them cool down completely before we cut them.